Hi, this is Solvay Ebia from Bonholm Yoga and Retreat Center. I'm very happy to tell you about a workshop that's taking place in May next year. One of my favorite teachers, John Sturck, is returning to us again from the 3rd to the 5th of May 2013. Let me tell you a bit about John and why you should come to this workshop. John's teaching is rather unique. He's been teaching yoga for more than 35 years. He takes you to a really deep place. He makes you investigate deeply into your yoga practice or any spiritual practice. Most likely you will go away with a feeling of a very fluid, soft body and having a much deeper contact to your body and your mind. It's the third year John is coming to teach in our center. He's coming back because he loves the beautiful nature and the quiet place we have here. We have several people returning year after year. Last year when John was here, we made a small video in the garden with him talking about the effects of yoga on the mind and the body. So it doesn't really matter what you do, what the style of practice that you have, um, as long as it's intelligent. And as far as the mind is concerned, that comes. You can't rush towards the mind and want it to be a certain way. So when you hear about the Raja Yoga, you know, which is called the, it's the king of yoga, right? Um, it's, it's the royal yoga, that's it, it's the royal yoga. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that comes when you're least expecting it. It just comes. Um, and it's very much like a physical thing. It's like the cortex. Um, I think I spoke to it, I was speaking the other day in a similar situation. It feels as if it just slides backwards and relaxes. And the feeling is, after many years, because you do get little tastes of it, at last. And it can happen here. It can come on, it can happen on a bus, on a train, on a plane, at a party. It's just suddenly this deep peace. Because it's always there, that deep peace. And that deep peace is connected to this inner space. So this deep peace just emerges from this space where you can't go, you can't get into it because it's an emanation. Everything we are is around that, it's created around that. Um, the ego, you know, the muscles, the bones, the joints, what we think, everything is constructed around that. And then this peace comes, this peace and calm comes. And you're there. I think it's kind of um, brought me more in touch with reality and the uh, the feelings within myself that are keeping me from uh, really having a good grounding in reality. Mm. So I think it's been totally amazing. You can't push one thing down without pushing it all down. You know, it's not exclusive. I'm going to push this feeling down. I'm going to push compassion down, I'm going to push sensitivity down, I'm going to push my my need to love down and be loved, I'm going to push that right down. You know, you push everything down, you push creativity down, you push, you know, you restrict your breathing, the spine becomes shorter, um, the cells go into freeze. Ah, you don't feel it, but you see it in people. Everything's fine, I'm fine, you know. The important thing is, when it comes, is that the mind is in movement. The mind moves. It's not stopping the mind, or wrestling with the mind, or even watching the mind after a while. It's allowing the mind to move. So if you allow the mind to move, you're much more relaxed, right? really like the way he, he teaches, and uh, the movement, and uh, it's, uh, yeah. My my body feels more fluid after uh, after this uh, this weekend, so I'm very pleased. <laughs> so basically, all bliss is is the absence of turbulence and discord and conflict, and it's you're never free from it. It's always going to be there, mm. but you can be a lot freer from it. But the mind gradually learns, because it can be a slow learner depends on the person it can also be a fast learner but generally speaking it takes time for the mind to realize it doesn't have to do so much it also doesn't have to criticize itself right it doesn't have to analyze every feeling that we have I feel I come back to my uh, natural core and spontaneity and uh, meeting uh, yeah, the child as one gets older 
And as one does these practices, in beautiful places like this, or in your own room at home, wherever you actually happen to be, um, everything loosens up and lightens up and you start to see things differently. So things don't have such an effect. Oh, being here is just such a treat. I mean, Bornholm is amazing and Solvay's Yoga Center is, it kind of like collects all the energy from the landscape around and the animals. And um, I think everybody kind of just feels it arising in them when they're doing the work. Uh, so there's this perfect harmony nearly between the environment and, and what John is doing. So we're really blessed. <laughs> As you do these practices, the ego definitely softens and lightens up and it becomes more of the tool that you need it to be. To learn it, it just comes by itself. And uh, John is very, uh, it's a very soft, inspiring person, so you feel at ease, you feel uh, confident and, and you dare uh, giving yourself out to the movement. You don't need to be a super bendy yogi to join. You won't be doing extreme yoga poses. John's workshops are very subtle but very profound, often exploring the quality of repetitive flowing movements. If you want more details about John's workshop, the 3rd to the 5th of May 2013, I've put a page on my website, bonhomyoga.dk, with more audio and videos from John. And there's more information about how to sign up for the course. Spaces are limited. I already have pre-bookings from Italy, England and Sweden. People know this course is worth traveling for. So I hope to see you there. <laughs>